Yeah, man, say all praises and honor to you. How? But Hashem, you are shy, but Hashem, you are cocky. And Dublin has to the pastors and elders of Great Millstone. And shalom to all our brothers them out there push us through in our sincerity and in our honesty. Um, this is a brother from James Jamaica Camp. Um, Yashamai. I know one where I'm a listen and I'm um, sedition, you know, because, you know, what in Jamaica I'm seeing, you know, this whole sedition spirit, you know, um, getting worse and worse, you know, as the day go by because so called Jamaicans, them, share merely from a child of Benjamin, getting frustrated more and more over this whole, you know, lockdown thing will take place, you know. I'm out in Jamaica, right, and, you know, these, these um, leaders, you know, all them in the league, you know, with the, with the so-called white man, they push forward to my agenda. So now we have Andrew Ness now, you know, put certain measures in place, I'm out in Jamaica. You now we have the so-called Jamaicans, them getting offended, you know, based off of what really take place, because even going back last year, you know, a lot of Jamaicans, so-called Jamaicans, you know, you know Whoop and a pray for 2020, hurry up and done because you know, them could take certain things where take place last year. You know, but here we in 2021 when things getting worse and worse, right? So, a lot of people look for things go back to normal when things are get worse and worse. Scripture say, Is high time to awake out of sleep, right? Because now is our salvation um, nearer than when we believe. And Jake, Jake believe in this system too much, man. Jake believe that these leaders too much, right? To do a police plan, you can't set up a police to do it. Because every time an individual of the country, and do all this, bro, God, it's the police officers. You can't set me up to do a police plan, you can't set up a police to do it. Because every time an individual of the country decides to voice them disgust of the situation, of situations surrounding you and your work, you try to put a halt, you try to put a ban, you try to put a stop to it. The only people they fit about. When people have to talk about you, tampering with the, 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 the rainforest, you put a ban on it. See, when the man has to go to and go talk with the artist and the DJ, you can buy some discourse about how you deal with the entertainment sector. Entertainment sector. You put a ban on it, no gallery, no this, that, that. No man to do it, permit. Now the youth, them, they are farm, them, they go think and say, boy, they go, they go buy some discourse. That's with you with what you do right now. No, you go put up image and send out the police. Remember telling this daddy? Screenshot this and send it to him. You don't want to push the youth them button in a Jamaica. You don't want police versus gunman in a Jamaica. Because the youth them is at the brink of getting frustrated. The youth them, the youth them, they are the brink. And you know within yourself how much gun they are here. You know. You know how much gun they are here. Yeah. So stop set up the police officer them averse. Because hey, you know how much everyone can tell him and tell him can't match and him can't do this and him. You so stop set up the youth them. Because you can't make the police. Go and drape me up and me disrespect the police. Bad because I'm going to vent and voice my opinion. So you're going to tell me that Jamaica can have the right. You can't see a country go down in a sinkhole and the people in the country that have no say. You can't set up me and my people. I love police and I love my police and I have too much police friend. You can't set me up with me and them. As a matter of fact, I wasn't planning a march. I'm not planning a march. I'm planning a protest. And if you know, if you know the constitution, you know, you know, so then you can't tell them so you can't protest. Because a protest, a protest is voicing your disgust, you know. And, and look how, how, how ridiculous it is. How you as a Prime Minister know say the country are going to vamp them frustration against you. But yet you don't want to enter. Alright, let me get a scripture. Alright, this is uh, Isaiah 28 and verse 14. Say, um, Wherefore, he the word of the Lord, you know, he scornful men that rule this people. Our rule over Jamaica right now, and Jonas, our bro God as they call him. Right? Which is in Jerusalem, and Jerusalem is a people before it become a place. Because he have said, We have made a covenant with death and with hell are we at agreement. So the so called white man, you know, using our leaders, you know, right across the world, even Andrew Wallace, you know, basically push for them, them new world order agenda. So all them in the league, you know, with the wicked, with the scriptures people, right? Proverbs 11 and verse 21. So though hands join in hand, the, um, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. So our leaders them join hand in hand with the so-called white man to basically push forth the new world order agenda. But the scripture says, the wicked now go unpunished. Because we're not talking about the so-called white man judgment. Right? 
we live in another time now when you how about Hashem is going to judge them for every single thing you know what they do to us as a nation and also them do to the earth. As scripture says, I come back come destroy them, we destroy the earth. Um, Revelation 11 and 18. Right? And back to Isaiah 28, and verse 15 again. Because he have said, We have made a covenant with death and with hell. And so called white man represent death because from the time them coming up power, you know, from the early 1300s, you know, starting with the Barger family, known as the, um, the first crime family, they've been doing nothing but death and destruction, bringing nothing but death and destruction. But that's what they basically bring death and destruction from the time them coming to power it's until this very day. Nothing but death and destruction, you know. Right? Are we. At agreement, when the overthrown scourge it shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. So, our leaders feast somehow when all will break loose out in Jamaica, you know, the 14 parishes for you know, out in Jamaica, you know, um, care start, you know, them are be safe, you know, the, the so called white when I use them, I put them up safe, right? It shall not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. Therefore, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, Behold, I lay in Zion a foundation, a stone, a child stone, a precious corner stone, a sure foundation. He that, he that believeth shall not make ace. Judgment also will I lay to the line, and righteousness to the plummet. And the hill shall sweep away the refuge of lies, and the water shall overflow the hiding place, and your covenant with death shall be disannulled. So the agreement of the Prime Minister, you know, Andrew Jonas make, you know, the so-called white man. This is how the scripture says, Your covenant with death shall be disannulled, and your agreement with hell shall not stand. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through. Then he shall be trodden down by it. So this is what basically happened to a lot of these leaders, you know. We are, all right, we are basically in league right now with the so-called white man to push for him agenda. They're going to get destroyed in you know, the time to come. Right? Isaiah 13 and verse 15. Say, everyone that is found shall be just true. And everyone that is joined unto them, joined unto who? Joined unto the so-called white man in the way of life, in new world order, you know, plan, shall fall by the sword. So you're going to get destroyed. Right? It's a second verse. 15 and verse 14. And it says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction joy nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another. Talk about race war, you know, class war, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men. So this is how I get prepared right now, even out in Jamaica. You know, people coming up against, you know, government, you know, against the police force. Because of the whole, you know, majors, the whole leader, and journalists put into place, you know, out in Jamaica. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. So you're going to have people a hunt. Right? You hear them coming with them, them ends, ends system. You know, where you can, you can get food in a, in a, in a, um, you know, after curfew hours. You know, and all these things. Right? For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. Right? And now what the kings and princes today, like leaders, you know, like Andrew Wallace, that be the, um, the prince, or I say the prince of Jamaica, you know, I'm a leader right now, where yeah, they're putting basically around Jamaica. Uh, the course of their action shall stand in their power, because we need to point now, you can clear it right now, even I'm out in Jamaica right now, a lot of these people, you know, basically did a run back, you know, the, the whole politics things or election will take place last year. I have a very few people vote. You know, last year uh, last year a very few people vote. Majority of Jamaican if you vote in an election that take place last year. I have a lot of people now where where the basically vote, you know, for put him Brogard in a power or Mr. Andrew Wallace. A lot of these people now them turn their back on Andrew Wallace because they don't like what I go on. Them say it's a foolishness. It's not make no sense. 
A lot of people, even film people, them with, with, with him. You know? Against him right now. This is how I take place out here in Jamaica. Right? And the course of their action shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Because we're approaching the time of Jacob's trouble here. Total chaos is going to take place right across the world. Verse, verse 19 says, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword, with the gun, the machete, the knife, you name it, and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So this is what preparing right now, out in Jamaica. You know, this is how we see it take place right now. You now prepare um, out in Jamaica for happen. Right? So with that, I say all praises and honor to you how I share my own shy, I share my car, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Stone. Shalom to all our brothers and my brothers out there, push us through to our sincerity and all honesty. Shalom.